this packed house hoping and demanding Moore. success from this Bath team. Richie Vernon breaks off, Fergus gets the call. The offload is there to Dunbar. Alex Dunbar gets a terrific start for the visitors. Outside centre last week, inside centre this, and the first try has been scored by Glasgow. What a clean take, and what's the call there? Tony Lacey. No, it's on the arm, from the back. Swallow, the man impeded. George Ford by sex to post and Bath get points on the board. Ford feeds out to Anthony Watson and this is where Watson's dancing feet and beautifully balanced running and so upset. A defence. Yes, it's not released, it's kind of grown They're maybe. not releasing, says the ref. Ford flirting with that left hand upright, but Bartha within one point now of the visitors. Oh, Devoto cannot take cleanly. And Glasgow certainly seemed to have the appetite for the game. Really, really working hard. Come out of the blocks quickly in this second half. Russell. Getting up the halfway almost unimpeded. Mark Bennett feeding out to Tommy Seymour. Seymour gets the offload in. And look at the handling from the Scottish side. Richie Vernon going to finish things off. That is a quite superb try from Glasgow. You please check potential foul players by six Glasgow on the back there at the rock over in front of Sean, please. Let's well, do take John. a look okay. at what happened there. I'm happy with just the penalty for lifting the leg and dangerous, dangerous play, do you agree? He was trying to move the player, John, I think, just. You, you're going with the penalty. OK, you're ha are you happy to award a try? I am. OK. Try stands. Gregor Townsend's got a smile on his face. The take from Stuart Hooper, pub captain, back in the starting lineup. Batty takes control of the ball. And the crowd call for more as the Bath pack flex their muscles. Chris Cook happy to let them drive again. There's the line. They're not going to get there, but the referee says penalty try. And Kellogg's going to the bin too. Well, again, the front row sniff the turf. This time it's Glasgow who get the call. Early drive, says the ref. Pressure kick for Finn Russell, and he's up to the task. The take from Carl Ferns. Once again, that forward phalanx setting up. Power play from the home side. Glasgow struggling to hold the momentum of this Bath 8. Stringer breaks off. Ford out to Joseph. Watson's got a man outside him, but he doesn't need him. Anthony Watson for the line. Has he got over? Superb suffocating defence from Glasgow. And the referee looks at it and goes, whoa, what's the call there? Maitland getting involved as well and I don't think Watson's got that down John Marshall yes. Yes, ball was held up scrum okay. five held up correct scrum call five. from the officials Stringer puts in and they drive for their second try Burns has got the ball he hasn't got it down but he has got the second penalty try and Bath move themselves back in front. Glasgow knew they had to rely on other results today, but first and foremost, they had to win this. Mark Bennett back in the side. Ball set back and whisked out to that right-hand side, and the alarm bell's ringing. 
but a great snatch and take from Banahan. Referee's whistle is gone. Well, just as it looked, Glasgow were flooding down that right flank. Russell takes quickly, feeds out to Richie Vernon. The clock is Bath's friend at the moment, but their defence really under duress. Maitland pins his ears back, drives for the line. Joseph desperately trying to hold him out. They go again. They go again and again. The resilience of Bath being fully tested now in the last plays of this exhausting match. And they get the call from the referee. The wreck is exultant. Sean Maitland got so near. Safe take at the back from Garvey. And now it's down to Peter Stringer to send Bath into the quarterfinals. The first team to lose the first two matches and still go through to the knockout stages. Both that. No hands now, Ross. No. Duncan Williams. Some space. Well done, Omani. Duncan Williams now. Now the forwards get a chance to get ahead of Steamer. A lot of wit coming from Kitley at the moment. Pulls one back for Hurley and it's Earls. And Zebo steps inside. Simon Zebo. Has he wriggled his way over? He has. Great start from Munster, isn't it? Yeah, continuity from Munster early on. Uh, and Zebo is a fabulous finisher. You said he's uh, at his best in round six. And for once, Munster uh, are not here with everything on the line, as we've seen so many times. Look out. Coming round the corner. A bit of pace, and it's Brady. Vantage again off He's it. He's got some pace. Vantage Five coming to sail here. McLeod. Well, it's big Paul O'Connell for going off his feet again. Vantage being Still behind. Like move. Dunlop is finding some holes, isn't he? Asker. Oh, no, he's through. Tom Asker. Wow. The gap was there for him, it just opened up, and then the fen. Keely won't want to see that one again. Oh, and you it. cannot give Tom Ascot that kind of space. Zebra wanted that, he claimed it, didn't he? McDonald, really nice, loud call from Paul O'Connell. We heard it right below us here. But O'Connell has stayed down. Duncan Williams to Keatley. Glorious. Oh, it's, it's brilliant. Keith Earls. He's going to make it. Keith Earls. Referee will check it. Sublime. Yes. Well, try or not, that yes is or a no, line please. from heaven. Okay, yeah, Absolutely check. brilliant, Keith Earls. Sale were just bamboozled by the line. McLean very brave with the attempted tackle. Brady gets in there, but that is a try. And if ever a try was deserved, it's that one. He's controlling it well. In the back of that scrum, it's marching forward. His front five doing the business. And Peter Romani doing the business, flopping over the ball and scoring the try, and boy, was it coming. Oh, another score. Pat Howard. Just felt much the beginning to edge sale physically, and that man and the substitutions making a real impact, and he has been very forceful since he's come on, Pat Howard. Moves to Keatley, pulls that ball back again. Did he? Oh, he's played really well since he's come on, isn't he? Bursting through the middle now, the option to give the pass was there, now they're calling for it, screaming for it. 
on the left hand side, it may not matter. Omari, Ron and Omari wants to get on the score sheet himself. They demanded a response, didn't they, Munster this week? And that's what they're getting. Here you go, here you go. He's got one already, Zebo. He's a poacher. Any reason not to award it? He's got that down. He's gone there he is again, right on cue. Zebo. Now he's showing the pace, Simon Zebo. Offloads. Conway. Two scores in as many minutes. Wow. Well, this hasn't been a land of smiles in this year's European campaign. But very wide grins here. That's a superb score. So close now, Munster. O'Donnell. Oh, he's over. Well, he's earned that as well because Tommy O'Donnell has carried really well. But against Sale uh, today, the strength and depth has been a factor in this victory. Duncan Williams. Oh, yes. Really nice offload. The scrum half who's been really industrious, really busy this afternoon. That's yet another score. But in the end, it's a celebration for Munster. It's a bit of a nightmare, second half or so. Zebo, brilliant offload again from the man of the match. And it's Conway. Races in. It has not been the European season to remember for Munster. But they're finishing off very nicely indeed. Over 60 points now. Yeah. 63-10, can he trouble it? Yes, he can. 65 points to 10. Nine tries in all for Munster. First time they have not been in the quarterfinals of a European competition since 1998. The European giants they are. Margaret, Martin Roberts again, Sam Davis, Matavesi, James King right for tackle. Oh, it's really good strength in the second row. Really is. James King, it's a really good score, but playing with that tempo, we know the Ospreys uh -huh. can at times. A lack of passion from Treviso, though, in the build up to today's game. Gordy beats Christie. Would he sick? That's really good work. Esposito. Another team with plenty of injuries. Ulster. Who has patched together a decent player to take on Leicester later on today. Here's Sam Davis. It's a lovely pass to Eli Walker. Huh? Matty Reynal, asking the TMO, but again, it shows the benefit of good quality line-up ball. Ardron has a good line-up option. At the tail for the Ospreys. Now the crowd are getting frustrated. You can understand why we've seen plenty of angles, and in the end, the the try is awarded, and for our money, rightly so. Up to half time, not had it all their own way by any stretch of the imagination. The Ospreys. Martin Roberts who's been charged out, and here comes Treviso. No Manu. Pratiketi, and it's inside. Barbini and Treviso do finish the half on a real high. They have not given up. We've said already today they are a different beast at home, and they are showing it. Roberts. Oh, hip. Well, Sam Davis just ghosted his way through the gap. It's another brilliant break from the fly half. Ardrick just bored down. Five metres short now. Roberts calling for quick ball. There's King. What a tackle by Sam Christie and Ardron. Right. We're really hard to get there. 
Roberts again has gone the right hand side. Matavesi says, I can't believe you've gone that way. Fussell. Good. Richard Fussell is there. The referee seems to be his want okay. to check with the television match official every try, but Fussell is over. He's stretched. He was right to go on the short side, but yet again, it's Sam Davis with a wonderful, wonderful individual break. Sam Davis. Can't get the conversion. And what a wonderful break from him. Christie just held up on the post. The Treviso fly half, but they've just refused to go away. It's so often the way at home. Ask Biritz about that. Ask Perpignan about that. Ask Bath, Watts and Harlequins down the years in European competition. Big scalps all, and now they have added the Ospreys again to that list. Penalty try to Treviso. And look how much it means to those players. And now it's ruined Pinar. He fancies little dart himself. And now it's Van der Merve who goes low and hard and drives. And can Ulster suck in enough Leicester defenders here and then take advantage of it as Gonova comes in with the tackle. Now it's Pinar. It's beautifully worked. It's brilliant stuff from Ulster. And in the end, they feasted from the buffet, having sucked in the Leicester defenders left and right, and then they punished them. And Leicester will have to be quick here to reset their defence because there's lots of Leicester players on the ground on this near side here. They've got to fill those holes on the open side, and there's a hole for Ian Humphreys, and it's the caveman who scores again. Humphreys pulls the ball back for Tommy Bow. Here's Darren Kim for the hat-trick! Well, Ulster are hammering the Tigers here tonight. And that is what their fans demanded after a dispiriting Champions Cup campaign. Jared Payne now. Mickey Gonova makes the tackle. It's a high tackle, flag up. It's a yellow card for you. Are the curtains about to be drawn on their Champions Cup challenge right here? And here is the high tackle, and that is no way a yellow card, surely. They'll be happy with that scrum. Ruin Pinard away at Humphreys, and there is space wide out here for Jared Payne. And they just had to keep their pants on straight there, Ulster. And they were in for the try bonus point. And it is execution time for Ulster again against Leicester, who are now facing yet another big loss in Ravenhill. Now it's Ben Young's little short ball to his brother. Brothers in arms, telepathic they should be. Here is Adam Thompson. Adam Thompson gets away, and Leicester do get their try. You feel it's going to be a little bit too late for them now, but it does give them a semblance of impetus. Another penalty. Here is Barbieri. Now Ben Youngs in the fumble and contact, but Pascal Gozer had issued the warning, so yeah. he has to go to the pocket now. Come to me, says the referee, and go over there to Callum Black, who's been yellow carded. And now it's Rizzo, another of the Italian internationals in this replacement front. Oh, it's another penalty and advantage here to the Leicester Tigers. And the referee, well, absolutely running out of patience. It had to be another yellow card. For Ulster, they know exactly what they're doing in there. Vian Herbst this time is sent to the bit. Oh, no, it's Ulster's turn, and <laughs> what a roar around the stadium to greet that penalty decision. And that's the end for Richard Cockrell and his man.
the shutters come down on the Tigers' Champions Cup campaign. But the Ravenhill faithful will be mightily pleased with the way Ulster have finished off their campaign. Wasps against Leinster. What a game. Oh, what a start. What has Assey Johnson done there? Dave Carney goes up for the ball. That looks really, really nasty. It's yellow. He's it. Run from Jamie Heasley. Ready. There. It's Madigan who goes off. Advantage still being played to Leinster. Madigan. It's out. Fergus McFadden. What a start from Leinster. Wash with a man in the bin. And Leinster take full advantage. Boss, Copper, lovely angle from Jordy Murphy. Leicester pouring forward now. Rob Carney. It's Bradley Davis. Isaac Boss just brings on his forwards. Leicester coming again. Drop goal attempt. We'll come back for the penalty. Three. He throws the ball always in the attack area, no. And it's another yellow card for Was, and this time, Lorenzo Cittadini. The number penalty, you throw the ball. It's a quick ball for White. You throw. Slow to roll away. Most quick. So there's the referee, Jerome Garces. And it's an opportunity for three more points, Jimmy Gopper. Takes over the kicking responsibility from Ian Madigan, and it is three points. But speed to get his thoughts. Was it Boss? And Boss is stretched out. He's it. Claiming it to try. The play continues. And Gopper. Oh, Jimmy Gopper! As Gopper now stretched and scored. He certainly thinks so. But we are going to go back for the earlier effort from Isaac Boss. And Isaac Boss is the one with the try. What's finishing for this half strongly? Advantage is coming. Good. It's been knocked on. Drogo says he's calling over Kane Douglas, and it's a yellow card. And now Leicester are down to 14 as well. Oh, he's missed it. A kick you would expect Andy Goo to get. Jacobs, Dale, Mr. Johnson. Muscular stuff from him. Simpson now arrives. Oh, he's sniping down the short side. Ben Jacobs, Simpson. Desperate covering defence from Leinster. Andy Gear, his numbers on that left hand side, Vondell. Tom Vondell has he used Nathan Hughes though? Penalty to Leicester for crossing. An obstruction from Nathan Hughes. Haskell. 
and so close is James Haskell. Mullen. Matt Mullen still driving. The England prop. Has he got there? What's the claiming he has? Oh, he is. What a significant score that could be. Kieran Mullen. And look at the try for Was now. Was on the comeback trail. Kieran Mile again. Cooper Woolley. What a comeback from Was this is. Nathan Hughes! Nathan Hughes has gone over the top and he's scored. And he get oh, it's off the woodwork. But they're going to reset it. He had his sight up, and he doesn't miss a second time, Andy Goode. We are all square. Boss. Daly with a tackle. Devon Toner leaves it. Daly has come through there. Illegally. Penalty to Leinster. Oh, it's wide. Into injury time. Goode is back there. Simpson to Andy Goode to be the hero. It's wide. It will finish a draw and they will have to sit and wait. Was Leinster a throw?